Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in Ohio. And I have what can be considered um, the most disrespectful gameplay you're probably ever going to see. So, hope you're ready. This one's going to be a good one. But before we get into it, if you guys could, please... Punch the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Half of you guys that are out there haven't subscribed to the channel. I know, it's crazy. You enjoy watching, so why not hit the freaking subscribe button? It's free. Nothing costs one bit. Just click the button. And you can see my videos every single day as part of the family. So, let's head off to the right side. Uh, we're on Shatter, and yeah, this match is going to be an interesting one. Uh, by the way, there are Vermonts out there, folks. Foreshadowing? Yeah. Uh, no. I, I, I'm, a, I'm about to, uh... <clears throat> I'm about to show you guys just how absolutely pathetic it is. <laughs> nah, for real, though. Uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go out here, we're gonna show everybody that, uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta be patient and win your side. Now, I wish I'd helped my shot there. I shot at the, the Zal over the island thinking, he's likely to sail in a straight line. And I could have had this Des Moines dead. Unfortunately, uh, he's going to get away for now. Uh, we get ready to fire the guns, and then the game keeps popping in and out saying I can and can't shoot. So I'm like, eh, screw it. We'll just hold for now. Now I damage kind of single fire here because I'm behind an island. I figure and probably not going to get detected anytime soon. It'll be fine, right? Right? Wrong. Smallin comes out of around the next corner, and I'm going to have to uh, deal with him as well. Now, I want you guys to pay attention. We have a Kitakaze here. That is a gunboat DD. We have a uh, cruiser to my right. I don't remember what it is, but a cruiser to my right. And we have me. Between the three of us, this small one should not walk away from this fight. Especially considering I hit him with two shells with Arthas. Because, you know, 20% of ex extra damage is always better than nothing, right? But uh, our cruiser ain't even shooting at the guy. He does radar. So, like, in theory, again... We have the potential to get rid of this small and radar destroyer, or radar cruiser, battleship shooting at him, and a destroyer. But unfortunately, our destroyer has somehow managed to lose all of his hit points and has accomplished absolutely nothing. And our cruiser doesn't manage to do crap with his radar. It's unfathomable sometimes, I swear. But here, I see this Des Moines. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. The Des Moines and the Zhao in this match do a pretty good job, at least early on, of paying attention to what's going on around them because they know I'm, I'm going to be targeting them, right? Obviously, my biggest thing early on is try to get rid of the key players, the DPM guys early. I can deal with battleships at any time during a match. The cruisers are a little bit more tricky. But Zhao gets slapped by somebody in the middle of the map. Schlieffen is within 30 kilometers of me, so his secondaries are going off. And uh, we're going to try to put a few rounds on the Zhao here. But again, Zhao paying attention. He's going to dodge me every single time. It's funny how they will dodge me every time I fire. But no one else. They'll, they'll just sit there broadside to everybody else and, and take hits. But as soon as I fire at them, that's when they wake up and they, they start dodging. But uh, Schlieffen is uh, going whole ham as Schlieffens tend to do. And of course, he's going to walk right into a wall of skill between our, uh, I think it's a Brisbane that's here and the Kitakaze dude loses a lot of hit points and we go ahead and help our team out where we can by uh, throwing a few rounds into a superstructure for good measure so we stay alive right that's the main thing now we're almost up against the border here so we're gonna have to turn in but you can see these secondaries still doing what they gotta do Dude's 12 and a half kilometers away and these shells are still raining down from the moon for God's sakes, but Schlieffen is not long for this world. You can't just YOLO in in a Schlieffen, guys. Schlieffen is incredibly powerful, but you know what, what one thing you can't do even worse than, than what he did? You can't get into a gunfight with a Schlieffen in a destroyer. I don't care what destroyer you're in, you're not going to win that gunfight. Period. It's just not a thing. So stop trying to win a gunfight with a Schlieffen if you're in a destroyer, okay? It's never going to work out for you. Those secondaries, the primaries don't even have to shoot you. The secondaries will melt you, okay? If you've never been in a destroyer and getting caught or gotten caught by a freaking Schlieffen, you don't know what I'm talking about, but I promise you, you don't win, okay? 
<laughs> Especially if they got a secondary booster. But uh, yeah, our destroyer goes down, Schlieffen goes down, trade, trade, we've lost a cruiser as well. That's not ideal, so we're in trouble. But do I run back to the center of the map to regroup with the rest of the team, folks? No. Why? What is the thing that I always talk about? Creating crossfires, right? Look at my teammates. Look at their positioning. Look at where I am. If I push up this right flank, everybody that's over here, look at the enemy positioning on the map. Everybody that's over here will have to choose who they go broadside to. They're not going to have a choice. They're, they literally are going to have to decide one or the other. Either me or my other battleship buddy. Unfortunately, my other battleship buddy has decided to reverse into the gap and get himself into a situation where he's uh, potentially going to get torped by the middle of the map. But I still want to push this flank because it puts the enemy out of what they want to do. If I dictate the engagement and then I get spotted by a plane, apparently Zhao put up a plane which is like 10 or 12 kilometers away and is somehow spotting me over the top of like three islands... It's frustrating as crap. I hate plane spotting. The only thing worse than plane spotting is when somebody sonars or radars you through an island. Like, that is unbelievably obnoxious. But uh, here we have the Conqueror. Conqueror is absolutely going to uh, regret life choices here. We're going to take the shot into the superstructure, get his attention, and uh, he's probably not going to see the wall of skill coming in uh, until it's too late. And he is going to get absolutely smashed by those torpedoes. Again... I got to give credit where credit is due, right? We have people that are doing things. We just have to do what we got to do, right? It may not always be glorious, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Now, I'm holding my shot because I was expecting Vermont to come around the corner and I want to get rid of him as quickly as possible. I know it's fully capable, or I'm fully capable of uh, dev striking that Vermont from full health given a chance. Now, Conqueror is flooding right now, so we're not worried about him, and that's when the Zhao makes a critical error. You, you don't do this, Zhao. I don't care how many torpedoes you think you got, uh, it ain't worth it. You're never going to get away with that, <laughs> especially against an Ohio or anything else that has 18-inch guns. You just do not get away from it. But uh, Zhao learns a critical lesson, or maybe not, but uh, we actually make a huge mistake by damage conning that, or that fire too early. Uh, but fortunately, we're able to dodge the torpedoes. I knew he would be torping, so there was no reason I should have hurried and damage conned there. I should have waited for the torpedoes to be clear before damage con it. So it was a lesson to everybody out there. Please, don't get impatient with the damage controls. That's what gets you in trouble. Trust me. Been there, done that too many times to count. And this would have been another one of those uh, had I not. But... It wasn't meant to be, right? We, we did what we had to do. Now, Vermont, on the other hand, is... This guy knows that I'm here, right? I've been spotted. Look at him. He, he knows that I'm here. But I'm waiting for my opportunity. I know I've got an opportunity to slap this man. Vermont gets spotted. He's over-angled. We aim for center of mass. And we absolutely crush him. And we get this, the, the Arthas up at the last second. I don't know if it actually gave me the bonus or not. I'm going to say it did, but... Or at least a little bit. But it, it was very close. I probably just wasted an Arthas. And, but either way, huge hit on Vermont. Now, what are the things that we know about Vermont, guys? 12 457mm guns. We have 8. That gives him the advantage, right, guys? Wrong. I have every advantage in this fight. I have the speed advantage. I have the accuracy advantage. I have the, um... The, the armor advantage. I have all of the advantage in this fight. Now here, I thought I could go through the, the cheek there as he comes around the island. He got angled enough, gets away with it. He puts a couple of shells into me, and you're going to get to see me uh, just bully this Vermont. I'm sorry. If you if you guys are a fan of the Vermont like I am, uh, you might want to look away, because this is going to be ugly. This Vermont is going to get absolutely bullied. Uh, we are going to shoot at his superstructure and guns here, trying to knock a turret. We got to stay angled. We got to respect him. He's got 18 inch guns, so we got to respect it. Secondary is getting the fires. He shoots towards the, the belt, and we get angled enough, and he just shatters all of the shots. Again, just proving you got to you gotta get it, right? You got to understand who you're up against, what you're up against, so that you know where you need to aim, when you need to aim it. Now, we know he's got an incredibly long reload time, so we're going to go ahead go full broadside. We know the ram is incoming. Well, at least that's what he thinks. But uh, I'm not an idiot. He is going to get loaded and watch him place his next shot. Wait for it. Honk. 
right through the rear of the ship. Every single one of those shells is going to overpin. Didn't hit any armor whatsoever. Okay, all or nothing armor scheme, folks. The bow of the stern, 32 millimeters thick, and he goes right through. And now, this is the most disrespectful thing that I can do to the Vermont. I am so not worried about this player in the Vermont that I simply ignore him. <laughs> I let my secondaries do what they're going to do, and I just simply try to deal with the cruisers at this point. I get a shot out at the Stalingrad, but he starts paying attention. Unfortunately, uh, our shells land a little bit high. He turned a little bit towards us, but I'm just letting our secondaries sit here and DPM this uh, Vermont and set fires while I, I deal with the other guys. Now, you see there's a Des Moines here as well. We're going to go ahead and take a shot at the Des Moines. I have nothing to fear from this Vermont. There's nothing he can do to me other than shoot my superstructure, and he hasn't demonstrated the ability to think that far ahead yet. So there's absolutely nothing that I, I'm worried about from him. The Stalingrad, on the other hand, I have to I have to try to respect him. But look at what the Vermont does here. He breaks away from me, right? He's like, well, I can't chase him down. I might as well try to make some distance between us and maybe get a better, more favorable angle. Which I gotta give him credit for it was a good idea. Because now I've gotta respect not only the Stalingrad, but if I overangle, he could absolutely slap me with the Vermont. And one mistake is all it takes to get sent back to port from a Vermont. But you can see Stalingrad doing what Stalingrad do. We managed to hit him and slap him. And uh, between the fires, man, we have absolutely uh, just embarrassed this Vermont. And to finish him off, put him out of his misery, we're going to open the angle one more time, plinking all of his 18-inch guns and putting the shell straight through and finishing him off. 231,000 damage done. Is DeMont going to get... Yep, there he goes. 231,000 damage and the most disrespectful game against a Vermont you could ever have. That guy was completely helpless. If you ever find yourself in that situation, superstructure folks, I talk about it all the time. 3,130 base XP. Not too shabby. Top of the leaderboard. Let me know what you guys think down below. Did you guys enjoy me making that uh, poor Vermont look silly? If you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.